What's up YouTube, I'm Julian and today I'm here to react to more music from Honkai Star Rail. For the ones new here, I am a musician and a studio guitar player who has absolutely lost it reacting to video game and anime soundtracks. Today I'm gonna be reacting to the boss battle theme of Fantilia the Undying. This game seems to be more space theme oriented than Genshin Impact and even if I haven't played any one of these games seriously, the overall art and the soundtrack are giving me this impression. Feel absolutely free to comment, like and subscribe. I always have a blast reading your perceptions and your own reactions when you actually get to play and listen to these crazy themes. Also, if you want to binge watch my Genshin Impact reactions, I will leave you the link to a playlist in the description down below. And if you can afford and are actually willing to support me a little bit further, you can do it over Patreon, the link in the description down below. Let's get actually into this. What a rest, bro. <laughs> okay, this is really dope. That intro, those not that predictable rests were incredible i love it because magic in music happens when surprise happens and that totally surprised me also we can already listen to a kind of warlike percussion kind of usual snare drum work there depicting the image of war also in many mihoyo boss like battle themes we have listened to Wires like this one, you know, high pitched notes adding some epicness. But the strange thing here is that those voices are like children like voices. So that's a really interesting detail because usually we have crazy grown up soprano singers or tenor singers, but these singers sound. Uh, yeah, like kids a little bit. I wonder what's the meaning of this. Okay. Huh. The choir is like, bro, like a fucking keyboard, drawing beautiful chords. Sounds kind of mid-eastern. Oh, I love the violence there. Okay, interesting harmony change, definitely. Wow, up until this point, this doesn't sound as as hard and or menacing as other tracks. It sounds kind of easy going, like they are holding something back. And it's interesting how we have mid-eastern sounding melodies. Also, if we look at this character's picture, I don't know, we can see these kind of pedals. They are like the pedals from the uh, lotus flower it's interesting we can see how not only in the music but in the design of this character there are some like indian or mid-eastern influences ah the expectation oh That is a sick synthesizer, man. <laughs> oh. 
Wow. This is now actually sounding pretty transcendent. <laughs> oh my gosh. The kids' choir, everything is, is so sick. I felt for a second right there like I was floating, just floating. And when the upcoming instruments started to blend in, I felt floating in a space. It sounded transcendent. And uh, now the pace is increasing a little bit, but there is still this children choir. It's like this is a child play, or maybe it's one of these songs that are so creepy that they are actually sung by children. Oh, oh God. <laughs> Oh, wait a second there. That ascending pattern was sick. It's like we are ascending, increasing not only the intensity in terms of rhythm of tempo acceleration, but in terms of pitch also. Interesting. Maybe the boss is getting a little bit more serious now. Wow. Interesting, man. This is getting intense, honestly. Oh! This is slapping harder and harder. <laughs> Oh, bro! <laughs> that section was insane, bro. I loved the playing. I loved the way they played with the triplets. Wasn't only the triplets, but they were playing with subdivisions of those triplets. Maybe sextuplets. They were going like sometimes that was absolutely insane and changed the pace and the rhythm sensation really clever clever arrangement wow Okay. <laughs> kind of hip hop trappish rhythm section now. This is getting now this is getting intense and epic. Wow. It's like wait, we are fighting a crazy entity. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Okay, more acceleration, let's go! This is getting absolutely incredible, man. With that kind of trappish slash hip hopish precaution, it was like those crazy children were actually rapping. <laughs> I actually felt like in a an afterlife kind of paradise fighting for my soul. My God, this is actually insane. I'm gonna stop saying insane, but you cannot blame me. This shit is over the top. Now listen to this section. Let 
There is a common rhythm cell or even clave if you want to call it like that. Doing pam 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 and a part of the string section is focusing on this while another part or instrument is focusing on the melody but we cannot overlook the work of the rhythm section and it's quite hilarious to talk about a rhythm section in an orchestral kind of song but it's just a kind of analogy i'm using here Wow, this sounds like a, an awakening of some sort, even of mind. Wow, beautiful counter melodies. <laughs> this is getting even emotional? Or is it just me? The string's going completely off. Oh. Oh, I wasn't expecting the harmony change. Bro, I can definitely feel that the stakes are higher now. The flutes, 16 notes. <gasps> he or she or it is going all out now, bro. Oh, that unison was insane, man. I did them. Oh my god. Bro. <laughs> oh my god. What a way to finish the song. That was amazing. And one of the main strengths of this crazy OST is the way they are using the counterpoint melodies. It's just. On point. I think is one of the best, if not the best, use of counter melodies in all of Mihoyo's um, themes I have listened to so far. And it was so clever, so genius, how they were removing precaution from time to time. And that gives us like a sensation of being fighting in the sky, sort of flying. And when they remove that precaution, it's like we are falling off down to earth is crazy man it's like we are fighting the same we are equals but suddenly no bro you cannot fly as high as me <laughs> it was also quite interesting how in previous mihoyos or genshin impacts boss themes sure we had some synthesizers some edm effects here and there but i think that this kind of mix between orchestral format and EDM elements is quite different on this game soundtrack. In the previous ones, what actually was like the main skeleton, right, of the theme was the orchestra, just covered into the EDM effects. We can see it as the EDM effects being muscles and skin, but the foundation was the orchestra. But in these ones, I think that this kind of blending of mix is more balanced. Since the foundation of these themes, we can see the texture of crazy EDM elements attached to the skeleton, to the foundation, right, of the song. And personally, the use of these elements usually represents modernization, something like that. But it's so organic on this theme that it actually makes me imagine like this theme is timeless it is not being ruled 
by the laws of time. It speaks so well of an entity that transcends both time and space. No wonder it is called, or he or she or whatever, it's called the Undying. There's no wonder we are fighting here not a person, but much more than that. I am digging this so much, and I will be looking forward to more on Kai Star Rail soundtrack because they are overpowering and outdoing themselves on these ones. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know in the comment section what other kind of soundtracks you would like me to react to. Have a blast of a day and don't fall off. Peace.